Hello, everyone, and welcome to e Classroom for 7th grade. My name is Gabriela Josipos Kadimeska, and today we're going to talk about facts or opinions. By the end of this lesson, you will learn what is a fact, what is an opinion, you'll be able to tell the difference between a fact and opinion, and why is it so important that we can distinguish the two? Let's get started now. What is a fact? Facts are statements that can be proven. And they're always true. They can be proven by finding information in books or on the internet and so on. Here is an example of a fact. An apple is a fruit. Now this is a fact because it is always true. Here's another example. The earth goes around the sun. This statement is a fact because it is always true and it can be proven by finding information on the internet or in your geography book or anywhere else. So this is a fact again. Now, what is an opinion? An opinion is what you think or feel. It cannot be proven. Here are some examples. Apples are delicious. Well, you might think that apples are delicious, but someone might not agree with you. They may think that oranges are delicious. So, this is a matter of your own judgment and this is an opinion, it's not a fact. Here's another one, dogs are best pets. Some people think that dogs are best pets, but some people don't, they think that maybe cats are best pets, so this is an opinion, again. Last example given here is I love coffee. Well, some people like coffee, some people don't, like me. I don't like coffee, so it is not true for everyone. And it is, not an effect. it is not a fact, it is an opinion. So I hope now you can tell the difference between the two. Now we're going to do some reading exercises in your books. If you could please open your book on page number six, where you can find interesting facts about animals. Uh, I'm going to read the text. Please follow in your books and underline any facts or opinions that you might find. The cheetah lives in Africa and Asia. It has got very powerful legs. It can run 100 kilometers an hour. Penguins can swim, but they can't fly. Chimpanzees can't talk, but they can use sign language. Owls have got very large eyes. They can see in the dark. I want to start an anti-mobile group. I think mobile phones are dangerous, and I don't think that they are necessary. If you're free, please write to me. Now this is a letter from Matt Long from Manchester. Before we move on to the next page, um, were you able to find any facts or opinions? Here, I'll give you examples, one of each. For example, here, chimpanzees can't talk. Now that is a fact. I think Mobile phones are dangerous. Now, this is Matt's opinion. Not everyone will agree with Matt. So this, that is why this sentence is an opinion. I hope you found more. Now let's move on to the next page and find some more facts and opinions. So that's page number seven in your books. Visit the Big Apple. New York is an exciting and beautiful city. People of many different nationalities live here. 
Little Italy, El Barrio and Chinatown are all parts of New York. There are 60 million people in Britain. The British drink 185 million cups of tea every day. There's a spider in Mexico with red knees. It's called the Mexican red knee tarantula. There's a tree in California called General Sherman. It's 83 meters tall. Okay, so now let's see how you're dead. Here I have two sentences which are in the line. Could you tell which one's which? New York is an exciting and beautiful city. Is it a fact? or an opinion? Of course it's an opinion because some people don't even like New York. They think it's too noisy. So this sentence is an example of an opinion. There are 60 million people in Britain? Of course that is a fact. Now let's go back to page number um, six and now we're going to do exercise number one. What you need to do is match the words on the left with the words on the right and make true sentences. Now you can pause this video if you need to and you can read the text again before doing this exercise. Okay, now let's see how you did. Little Italy isn't in Italy. As we said, it's in New York City. People in Britain drink a lot of tea. As we said, they drink 185 million cups of tea every day. There are cheetahs in Africa and Asia. Owls have got powerful eyes. The red, oh, okay, the red knee tarantula lives where? Lives in Mexico. Penguins, they can't fly. Okay. General Sherman is a very tall tree. In New York, you can hear Spanish, Italian, and Chinese. Matt Long hasn't got a mobile phone. In last sentence, chimpanzees can understand sign language. I hope you did good. Now go back, we're going to go back to our presentation. Okay. Let's see here. Let's revise. Fact or opinion. If you're trying to decide whether a statement is a fact or an opinion, remember. Ask yourself these two questions even here. Is it always true? And can it be proven? If the answer is yes, then you found a fact. If the answer is no, then it's an opinion. So now let's do a quiz. We have six sentences here. I would like you to copy them in your notebook and decide whether they are facts or opinions. You can pause this video while writing. Okay, let's see how you did. Strawberries taste better than cherries. Of course it's an opinion. Not everyone thinks that 
strawberries taste better than cherries. They might think that cherries are better than strawberries. Oranges contain vitamin C. That's a fact, and it is always true. Also, you can find this information in books or online. The sun rises in the east. This sentence is again a fact. It is always true. And we can confirm it by looking some by looking at information on the internet or in your geography book. The sunrise was beautiful this morning. This sentence is of course an opinion because some people think that sunrise is beautiful, but some people don't even like the sunrise. Maybe they're not a morning peep, they're not morning people. So this is not true for everyone. It's a matter of, of personal judgment. History is the hardest subject. This is an opinion. You're right. Because someone might think that history is the easiest subject. So it's not true for everyone. English is the most widely spoken language in the world. Now that's a fact. And it is true. And you can find it. You can find information about this. As we said, in many books or online. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you for joining and see you again next time. Have a good day now.